Jordan, and you notice we are inside, Paul, because a little bit chilly outside. Looks like that first really hard cold weather is built into eastern Oklahoma, and we know more is to come, which means we need to start thinking about bringing our plants indoors for the winter season. Well, hopefully they're already in. Yes. <laughs> or they're going to go in the trash can. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, we all have a tendency to want to leave them out there as long as possible or bring them in when there's a brief cold snap and then put them back out and in and out. And uh, why bother? You know, I mean, we, I think we've reached a point now where it's time to go ahead and just make the decision, bring them in. First and most important consideration, while they're outdoors, they are subject to a lot more potential pest problems. Okay. So. When you get them inside, you want to give them a good spray. Now, in some cases, you know, just rubbing them well with uh, paper towel will knock off a lot of the bugs, but there's a couple of products. Thank in you. Insecticidal soap, okay. organic, safe to use, won't harm pets. Same with Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, something called Spinosad. <laughs> I know, it's a great name, isn't it? and the guy kind of looks like me. Looks well, like you should have a margarita while you're spraying this. He, he looks like me 30 years ago. <laughs> At any rate, because um, you don't want to import those pests, you may already have plenty of other house plants that weren't outdoors, so you don't want to bring the pests inside. Um, another thing that you can consider doing, and I know it sounds crazy, but stick them in the shower, turn it on, lukewarm water, and just knock all the dust and all the everything off of them. Okay. Um, that, they really love that, and it gives them that blast of humidity because in the home, when the heater goes on, the humidity goes down. It really dries out. You got to mist your plants. Okay. They need that moisture. So mist them, cluster them together so they share the humidity a little bit. Quit fertilizing. None. These, are, these plants are ending a, a dormant phase. So the last thing you want to do is stimulate new growth at this point in time. Okay. So, see, I'm making it easier, aren't I? Yeah, I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm taking mental notes. <laughs> and then really be careful about your watering practices. If you water at the same schedule that you did during the summer, spring and summer months, you're gonna kill your house plants. Okay. Again, they wanna rest, they need to chill, so cut way back on watering, um, and don't get into that, I like to water every Saturday morning routine, because first of all, you might miss our segment, exactly. but, mo but more importantly, just check. Just stick your finger down in there. If, if it's dry two inches down, go ahead and give them a little bit of water, but just be careful that you don't overwater. And what about those plants like hibiscus and those type of things that really love the sunshine? You bring them in, they get a little bit of sun. Is that enough for them during the winter time? It's enough to keep them alive. Okay. I mean, very few homes, virtually none, unless they have a sunroom, really have the kind of light that a plant like that needs. So it's gonna, it's not gonna look all that great, but it will bounce back. Okay. Now, a lot of them, you know, love medium light, even low light in some cases. Okay. Um, so you you can find a spot in your home for just about any house plant. Avoid drafts, whether they're floor registers or up above. Make sure you don't have that heat on them at all times because it really does dry them out. Okay. I know you were talking about spraying the plants. That it, I mean, if, obviously when we think about these plants in general, I'm listening. If we're not spraying them, which you know, I was telling you that I have a hibiscus that actually has some eggs on it at this time. Would it be better probably to just spray them outside, get that all cleaned up before we bring them inside? Or even if they're inside, then we can hit them then. It really doesn't matter when we do it. You know, ideally it's best to do it before you bring them in. But if you didn't bring them in here in the last couple of days, mm -hmm. they're gonna be toast anyway. So okay. do it, I mean, so long as you did bring them in. Yeah, go ahead and treat them in the house. All right, well, I got most of my plants inside, so we're definitely good there, but. Uh, Excellent. So I listen to you. Excellent. Thank you, Paul, as always. <laughs>